Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices of your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. We're playing Let... I'm sorry. We have a very special guest with us. Let me not forget. <laughs> Day two. Because day two in a row, I'm really surprised you stayed around for the video games, but you did. So thank you, Charlie is here with us. I just love the video games. Say 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 just hi there. Oh hi everyone. <laughs> hi I love video games. I'm video. so pumped. Are you? I'm just kidding. No, I like it. I like. I wish I could play video games. You can. Like Nothing's I, stopping you. I know, but like, guys get obsessed with it, and I just uh. feel like. Yeah, I'd buy the gaming system and see, it'd sit and collect dust. See, I mean, but if you were to play them, it wouldn't sit and collect dust. I'm more of like a Mario Kart gal, you know? I mean, you can still do it's, that. It's fair enough. Well, here, here's the thing. Like, like when it comes to, like, what people do with their time, right? Like, some people sit around and read. Some people binge Netflix. Some people yeah. play video games. To me, it's all the same thing. If you're, right. if you're going to sit and watch four hours of a show yep. or sit around and play four hours of a game. Or sit around and look at your phone for four hours. Oh, yeah, hours. sit around and look at your yeah, phone for four true. hours or read for four hours. You're using your free time to do something you enjoy. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like, it's all the same. Like, um, me, myself, I, I would say is that I, I probably play a lot of video games. But I would never let a video game dictate the time I would spend with another individual unless I'm just like, I don't care about that. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that, that's what you do in your free time. Like, if you're dating someone yeah. or if you're like, have go out with friends, you're not going to be like, oh, I'm not going to go out tonight with you because so I'm going to sit here and play this game I want instead. a game. Yeah. yeah, and so I mean, sometimes that happens. I mean, it's just, but the same as somebody saying like, I just want to stay in and play Netflix, watch Netflix all night. Same yeah, thing. that's true. There's yeah. just like a stigma around video oh, games. Oh, there Netflix. is. And, and, yeah. and when you said guys get obsessed with video games, I was like, oh man, who hurt you? Are you sick of that? No, I'm not sick oh, okay. of it. But I was like, man, somebody definitely chose video games over you. And uh, you I've know. definitely dated a guy who uh -huh. would like have the headset on and be playing with his mm. friends and like i'd be laying in his bed just no. like you're like why don't you come hang out with me and he's like call of duty and see and yeah. i feel like that's the worst man it's, there it just is. has to be there has to be and they try to act like it's normal yeah and it's like yeah, uh, yeah. even when i was married yeah. like my ex-wife wanted to have two tvs in the living room because she would play she games play sometimes yeah, she played but she would games. watch shows i would play a game and we would be together and in the living room, out hanging together. out. Yeah, yeah, like, that's. Exactly. But I wouldn't be wearing a headset talking to my homies yeah, if yeah, I was yeah. trying to spend time with her, right? Like, yeah. Um, so, so I, so I get it. It's the same as like going on a date and being on your phone the whole yeah. time. It's like, why would yes. you do that? You, if you're if you're spending time with a person, there's a way, way to spend time with people and not like alienate them. Even though I'm we're playing a game, you can, you can hold a conversation to some extent, I guess. Yeah, but if, like if I had a girl over that I was dating and like we were supposed to have a date that night, it'd be different. Like if they came over every night and then like tonight yeah, I'm gonna play like with that. my friends while you're doing that. But if it's like tonight's date night and I'm like hanging out with the homies yeah. on the video game and you're like laying in the bed, like you're not <laughs> hanging out. See, I've, I've really no dated some great catches. Guys. Yeah, I mean, hey. Look, look, you got <laughs> you gotta know. Great catches. Yeah, you got you got to experiment to find out what you like. You know. Yeah, yeah exactly. You if never... I could tell you half of the stories of some of the the women I've dated, oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, when you date someone, you also learn what you don't want. Yep. You know, as much as you yeah. learn what you like about people, you learn what you don't like. That's all I've, I've learned. Believe no. me. <laughs> I've, dated, I've dated alcoholics and drug addicts and, and, and girls who had certain ideals about Asian people, strangely enough. Oh, weird. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a girl that every time I hung out with her, she would be drunk. Like, I'd, like, go over to her house, and she would be, like, drinking tequila. And I'd be like, I'm not drinking. And she's like, you should drink. And I'm like, you should drink. And I'm like, I don't want to drink. It's Tuesday. It's and she's like, oh, wow. drink with me. And I'm like, why do you get drunk every time she you want me to come to. over? And then she was like, and then she felt all like weird. I probably shouldn't have said that. But I mean, it no, was the truth. It was well, like the third needed, time it happened. Maybe she needed somebody yeah. to call her out for it. She needed to I hear did. that. She needed to hear that. Yeah. I mean, I still hung out with her a few times after I said that to her. So, I mean, like. It didn't. Honestly, I dated a guy who broke up with me because of my drinking. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Like when you were younger? Oh, yeah. When oh, I was yeah. Younger. Well, you, we, too much or too little? I don't know where we're at in the pod, but I don't know if you told the sorority stories yet in the podcast, so uh, we might yeah, be jumping yeah, the gun. Yeah. But there's sorority stories this week. Was it during that? During sorority No, time? it was like post-college. Like, because you take the drinking from college and then you go out into the real world. When and you're you like, this isn't normal? And, yeah, <laughs> and you're drinking a lot. And, 
There was he was a great guy. Like he was really nice, but I don't blame him for bringing you? up with me. Oh, oh you're God. like you're like you're like I ha I was doing some things. Oh yeah, yeah I was. He, he was. Right I was now. drinking heavily and going out with my friends a lot, and then I would call. I he would pick me up at the end of the night, and it would be like, oh, she's like obliterated. Drunk. Yeah, like oh. on her ass. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, hey. But like him breaking up with me like that was like a good wake up call. So whatever. Did oh, uh good. did that? Good. That was the wake up call. Like you were like, oh shit, like there it's affecting one. my. There's yeah. been there's been plenty others. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, I don't drink much anymore because it. You're like. Doesn't make me feel good um, anymore. I just want to say is that I I met you under we were both under the influence of alcohol. <laughs> so she that was much. a very she didn't rare night. Yeah. I'm not I'm I not calling you a liar. I'm just saying I a little not, disingenuous. No, no, I had not gone out in a long time. Okay, that night. fair enough. Yeah, I, I mean, in, in her defense, all the times I've seen her, you've been sober, except for yeah. that time. I think. <laughs> yeah, because it was like, oh, how many times we're have going you seen out Jonas today? sober. I mean, yeah, how many times? Have you Almost seen? every time Plenty, she's ever yeah. seen me. <laughs> Because we hung out on Christmas. Funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I wasn't out. even drinking then. Uh, I think I had, like, one little... Yeah. Is it the Deep Eddie Lemon soda? Yep, yep. That's so, I mean, I'm all, I'm all, I don't drink very often at all. No, it doesn't make me part. feel good anymore. No. Nah, I don't maybe. think it ever actually made me feel good, but nope. you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Like, no, I always wake up feeling like crap. I did get into IPAs where, like, I would, like, drink, like, an IPA or two here and there. Like, so I have been drinking craft more than beer. normal. Um... But, like, I don't really like the way I feel when I wake up from mm -hmm. drinking. Mm -hmm. um, Honestly, it's not even the hangover. It's the anxiety. Like, anxiety. anxiety about what? Oh, my God. You don't get anxiety? That's like, what it's called. I mean, if I was going out and getting blackout, like, what did I do last no, night? No, even if I have, like, two drinks the next day, I'm, like, What are you anxious so about? Ang oh, everything. Oh, like, just your, it makes your anxiety yeah, in general anxiety go anxiety is just, like, like oh, whoosh. Interesting. I've, okay. I don't have that, no. Because, okay. I mean, you're pouring yourself a depressant, so it Essentially, affects yeah. you, yeah. 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 When I'm I'm that. on antidepressants, so that mix probably doesn't help either. Yeah, but, maybe. You know. I was like, I have enough depressants in my system without <laughs> depressants. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Guys get no love. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, no, don't I, feel sorry for me. Like I'm some old lonely man in the in the cafe. <laughs> All right, lady. I won't come sit with you. <laughs> sit down. You're like, uh, how's your day, sir? Oh, look, he looks sad. <laughs> he looks Do I need sad, to buy buddy? you a coffee? No, don't buy me a GD coffee. Yeah. Oh, I think what a big thing. Different? Like I always had my great grandparents around until I was like twenty something. Yeah, I had great grandparents so, for quite a while too. I just feel bad for old people and like. I used to work at a gym at the front uh, desk. Okay. And oh, the you got old a big men, old fight going on. I think I may have What's done happening? something wrong here. It's you fine. made a terrible mistake. I think I may have made a mistake. It's fine. We're going to make a mistake. So you used to work at a gym. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a boss. It's at a boss. the front desk. And like the old men would just talk to me and they would be like, like my coworkers would be like, why do they like talk to you so much? I'm like, I don't know. They just see me as like a safe person to talk with. Well, and old men are lo like usually lonely or like, you know, they don't get it out of the house. As much, and yeah. I'm am talking in very general terms. Like no, I there mean, are like, ones. I mean, some, some, but some yeah. they just need someone to talk to sometimes, and so like their That's daily true. trip to the gym for 30 minutes to use a sauna or whatever was just like their opportunity to then also talk to the nice girl at the front desk. And see, and I get what you're talking about. It's like I I find old ladies and old men cute too. I guess not old. Not, I don't like saying old. I find old men cute. I, I I know what you're saying. I get yeah, what you're they're, saying. They're just innocent, and even like you're innocent. You'd but be they're surprised. not. Like, they're definitely. That's, 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 <laughs> be, the because that's that. what uh, the Golden State Killer tried to pull. Is like this innocent old man stick. When after he got arrested, like three days later, he was in his a wheelchair. Eyes out of his head. He was in a wheelchair. Wait, he what? Say that one more time. The Golden State Killer, after like three days after he got arrested, when he was in court, like the day before he got arrested, he was like doing lawn service to his house and everything, and then three days later, he's in a courthouse in a wheelchair. It's like, okay, you're trying to play up the whole innocent old man. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, that's, well that was like Harvey Weinstein. He did all that. He oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All that sexual assault, and then like then he's walking into court up with a walker yep. and trying to make himself look all feeble and stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, I was like. Homeboy, it ain't working. Ain't nobody feeling it bad. Ain't no. working. It, you you just put a neck brace on, we're going to feel sorry like, for ain't you Ain't nobody now. feeling bad that you're in a walker now. You weren't a walker when you were doing sexual assault. Man. Yeah, that's the thing, man. It's like, I know they they got their past. I'm like, this old man was probably in World War II and did some war crimes. 
Hey, you beat him. I'm always ready to hear about an old man's war crimes. An old man's war crimes? Wow. They be doing war crimes, man. I I mean, they're just following orders. Mm. (laughs) Mm. You know, that was something that was missing from the Oscars this year. What, war crimes? War crimes? War movies. movies. The only one they had was Zone of Interest. What's your favorite war movie? Oh, man. You are like a movie buff, huh? Hacksaw Ridge. Really? Oh, my God. That movie just... What? What was With the Andrew one? Garfield? I don't know who that is. I, I mean, I, I haven't seen that either. But uh, holy shit! You know. well, what was that one so with good. the one? T- it was one take the whole movie, and they like followed the guy running. Like, can't remember what the hell it was called. Was Unbroken? It? No. I don't, I don't no, know. it was a, what? He was running. He well, he wasn't running, but it followed one guy the whole movie, and he was, it was like all one shot sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't watched a good war movie in a minute, but like. Oh, man. Me and my dad are like huge war movie people. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. I I mean, some of the old ones that I used to like back in the day, like Black Hawk Down was pretty good. Uh, The Hurt Locker. The Hurt Locker. That was oh a, that was a good movie. God, that is it. an incredible movie. Yeah, that one was really. Uh, What was that one with uh, Jamie Foxx? The Kingdom? That was pretty good, that. too. I've never heard of it. I don't know. Yeah, that was pretty good. American Sniper. You I'll, know, I didn't know what happened at the end of that. And then I found out. I that was terrible. Why don't you spoiler alert us? Because I don't know either. Is that the guy who wrote the book and he ended up being a crazy person? Like he was so, like, it was like he was an American hero, quote unquote, and he ended up being not then, quite an American yeah, hero. Yeah, we found out some stuff. Oh, that was that. when Bradley Cooper got all buff for this, the role. Mm. Cute oh. Bradley Cooper's always buff. Ayo. Oh my God. Another cute old man with war secrets, huh? <laughs> who, Bradley Cooper? No, the, the guy <laughs> he was depicting in the movie. <laughs> but yeah, Bradley Cooper's. He's a well, he died, guy. but. Oh, he died in the movie? Bradley Cooper died? Yeah, the guy, but the guy in real life. The sniper guy? Yeah. Did he kill himself? Spo- no, dude. He was he was taking this kid. I'm telling the story wrong. Please but tell he it, was though. taking this kid out for like shooting lessons and the guy shot him. The kid shot him. The kid shot the guy? Yeah, the Cuz he the, hated him or on accident. I don't even know. He was Why like mentally shoot- ill or something. Why are kids shooting guys? Everyone's mentally ill. Every, everyone is mentally he's, ill. He's not even That's that. That's for goddamn sure. Did you see that the main shooter had brain damage? Main shooter. Main the, shooter. The main shooter. Main the, main, the state. Oh, the state of main <laughs> shooter. I was like, what Sorry. shooter? I was like, holy sh- The main shooter? Yeah, he had like uh, CTE? basically CTE, but it, he never served in combat. It was from uh, artillery noise. Oh, so now they're saying that you can get CT from like uh-huh. just brain, like the wa- brain from, waves yeah. and noise and stuff. Uh-huh. So like, rock, ro- no wonder rock stars are like insane. Cause Whoa, they go, I didn't even put that together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So protect your ears and your brain. I mean, I think with all the additives and noise and everything we have, like we're oh, all, we're, all, we're screwed when we get older. Oh, we're all. Oh, it's gonna be insane. We all but you know what's hear. awesome is when you're insane, you don't realize the world's messed up. So. You don't realize you're insane most of the time when you're insane. No, you just I meant you're more crazy. hearing loss, not going insane, but yes. Hearing loss? Hearing loss. What? We're all screwed. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, you get it? I didn't even put that it? together. Oh, oh. Ew, wow, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Cool. Uh, you know what, Jonas? I think we should maybe continue this on the next episode. We're having a great conversation. I love about, it. This about has been the best. Ageism Aww. and hearing loss and uh, ageism <laughs> hearing loss. This has been the best ageism hearing loss. Yeah, war, so crimes. war crimes. Oh, <laughs> war crimes. War crimes. Alright, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonah. TNT. And Charlie. Uh, we out. Damn.